In this video we will talk about helper classes. Each primitive data type has matched helper class and it's a part of the Java runtime library. Each of helper class is used for converting values from one primitive data type to another and to format values using very simple logic. Here are the helper classes. The primitive byte value can be helped by the byte class. Please note that the name of the class always starts with an initial uppercase character and is a difference from the primitive data type name. The helper class for the short is short, and the helper class for the int is integer. And here are the others. Long for long. Float for float. Actually, for most of the primitive data types, their helper classes are exactly the same name but with that initial uppercase character. One exception of this rule is integer. The primitive data type is int and the helper class is integer. Here's an example of how you might use a helper class. Helper classes belongs to the package called java.lang. Each class of the Java framework belong to specific package. All classes that are members of the java.lang package are available to you always without you having to add any special declarations. The float class supports primitive float values. Here's an example of declaring a float value. The first part is float, the data type. The second is the variable identifier or name, float value. And the third part is the literal value that I'm assigning it. Notice the letter F at the end. This specifies to the compiler that the variable type is float. Use of the alpha characters on all numeric literals helps to the compiler to figure it out the type. So now we have a value called float value and we want to convert it to another value. So let's declare a byte named byte value and then invoke a method of the float helper class called byte value wrapped around the float value variable and it converts it to a byte. And if necessary, it truncates any fractional values. Similarly, the float class has an int value method, a float value and a two string method. Two string is a special case. All Java classes have a method named toString which is in charge of converting that object, whether it's a numeric or boolean or a more complex object to some sort of string. The toString method of the float helper class converts the float to a simple string value. All numeric primitives have default values and they always default to a value of zero. If you declare for example float value and will not assign any value, it will be equal to zero. Please click like and subscribe to my channel.